just in. General John Kelly just sent Trump a powerful message. Former Secretary of Homeland Security and retired Marine General John Kelly released a statement after his appointment to White House Chief of Staff. I have been fortunate to have served my country for more than 45 years, first as a Marine and then as a Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security, Kelly wrote. I am honored to be asked to serve as the Chief of Staff to the President of the United States. To the tremendous men and women of DHS, I thank you for the opportunity to serve as your Secretary. When I left the Marines, I never thought I would find as committed, as professional, as patriotic a group of individuals. I was wrong. You accomplish great things every day defending our nation, and I know your exceptional work will continue, the statement concluded. In his Friday night announcement, President Trump praised General John Kelly for his tremendous service to the Department of Homeland Security. He has been a true star of my administration, said President Trump in a tweet. General John Kelly is expected to bring order and discipline to the White House staff. Former Chief of Staff Rince Priebus announced his resignation only after President Trump publicly stated on Friday that John Kelly would replace the former RNC chairman. Rince Priebus's departure from the White House came immediately after new communication director Anthony Scaramucci announced he would fire anyone responsible for illegal leaks. President Trump has tasked Scaramucci with stemming the tide of illegal leaks. Although Scaramucci does not have the authority to launch an investigation, he promised to fire anyone suspected of betraying President Trump. In a recent tweet, Scaramucci implied that Rince Priebus was responsible for the illegal leak of his financial disclosure form. The form was leaked to Politico with, within Scaramucci's first week in the Trump administration. Priebus was originally hired as chief of staff because of his close relationship with Washington insiders. However, these relationships have proven to be his undoing. Priebus is so close to the GOP establishment to be trusted in the Trump administration. General John Kelly is much more trust, a trustworthy pick. President Trump has received considerable support from top military officials. President Trump has earned the trust of the military and he is hoping for the same trust to be returned in kind by General John Kelly. So there you have it. Rince Priebus was the leak. And, uh, you know, he had to get somebody in there that wasn't going to betray him. And that's what needs to be done. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.